Brazil is going through um, rough times. And over the last two years, we're, we're in a recession, a deep recession. We're talking about minus 4% GDP growth, um, which for a developing economy that is, is destined to grow and prosper is a, a considerable setback. You have more unemployment, you have loss of real value for wages, and you have um, consumer pessimism. Um, so that ends up impacting um, consumer goods, companies, and retailers' bottom line. And we have been seeing over the last couple of years is how companies are um, fighting back or, or, or finding opportunities to operate in the current crisis. If you're in this situation, how do you come out of it stronger? Or what do you learn? Or what different tactics do you need to use? And that's actually the kind of the motivation behind the, the recent report that we've We've, we've written on finding the islands of opportunities in this, this, this crisis that Brazil is facing right now, particularly focusing on the consumer perspective. And even though we can say that the crisis is hitting the whole country, um, it's not hitting it in the same way or form. Um, so trying to look at these differences and understanding um, where the crisis is actually hitting harder and where the crisis is having a much lesser effect. Um, and actually even identifying some, some channels and some opportunities where the crisis, um, and, and even during the crisis, are growing even more, um, was actually where we looked into. And we were able to compare um, high net worth individuals um, with essentially um, mid middle class consumers. And what we figured out was what, what our, our key hypothesis was, was proven correct, um, that uh, more wealthy consumers were sustaining a lot more of the crisis. If we're talking about middle-level income consumers, they were the ones that, that f um, suffered the most with the, the crisis in, in, in this optic. We also uh, saw a, a strong migration um, from credit card purchases that were normally um, in several installments um, that reduced a lot to fewer installments, reducing indebtedness, and, and people also moving away from, from credit purchases to, to debit purchases. The average spend um, was, was less, much less. Now, the insights that BCG and Cielo have arrived at in this study are, are just a, a, small, uh, a small glimpse of the power that these, this real data, consumption data, actually um, allows for companies to leverage in the pursuit of these, these goals of value creation. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see um, even greater um, uh, innovations around big data and, and, and how to leverage digital in transforming the way retailers and consumer goods companies reach their end consumers.